Hello, everybody. I've been very excited to show you this upcoming video today. I have gotten a lot of questions the last few weeks about that second row of cars right here from that purple Cyclone Gasser to that Gulf colored Camaro, what these models are, when they're coming out, and how you can get them. Well, I finally get to answer that question today with the video that I'm showing you. It is the Car Culture Premium Box Set, this Car Culture Bundle from Hot Wheels selling on the Redline Club shortly. I don't have a specific date, but the video you're going to see is one of two previews I'm doing. This one was recorded back in October at the Hot Wheels convention in Los Angeles with Jimmy Lou and Julian Coyles from Hot Wheels. They will walk through this entire set with us, kind of give us all of the background details. Some of the details may change in terms of when it's going to be available and when that is, when that is finally finalized, when they're going to go on sale and stuff, I'm going to then do the second preview, which is my own opening of these models. You can see that I already opened them and placed them there on the display. That video is done as well, but that will come when I have a specific date so that everyone knows when they're going to go on sale. But for now, this is to whet your appetite. Here is a look at the upcoming Car Culture Premium Box set with Julian Coyles in packaging, who did the artwork, and Jimmy Liu from marketing. This is set is a doozy. Enjoy. Hello, everybody. We got a cool preview for you today. I've got Julian Coyles from Hot Wheels Packaging, who does the uh, car culture artwork. I got Jimmy Liu from Marketing, and they are here to preview a very cool set that was previewed at the convention, and it is coming soon. It is the brand new, soon to be out, Hot Wheels Car Culture Premium Box Set. I mean, look at that art, look at everything. We'll dig into it. You think about car culture, how popular it's been. Uh, collectors are gobbling these things up at the stores. I'm one of them. And I think due to all of that popularity and the good response from collectors, the folks over at Hot Wheels said, you know what, let's give them a bonus set. So we got a bonus set. Let's, uh, I'll let Julian and Jimmy uh, walk through this so you know what, uh, what is happening. So Julian's coming in. He's the packaging guy. He deals in cardboard. That's a lot of cardboard, Julian. It's a lot of cardboard. Okay. <laughs> very, very much so. Can we open it? Oh, yeah. Well, let's look at the Please. box here. So we've, this is kind of like that uh, Forza set from last year that uh, Toys R Us did. And I got artwork here. And it looks like we've got all of the assortments, right, from the 2017 line. So... I guess we'll, we'll see what all this means, but you've got all of them listed here. Hot Wheels Red li Liners, Air Cooled, Race Day, Modern Classics, and Cars and Donuts. And then there's a very cool looking Camaro. And I think if you go on each side, there's a different shot of each of the cars that's inside. So, so there, so we saw Camaro, we saw Mustang, obviously on the front, yeah. we've got the, uh, the Bree Dotson, right? Yeah. The 510, and then, oh yeah, there's a, uh, what appears to be a Volkswagen. That would be air cooled, and that oh, that's uh, gas horrific <laughs> uh, from the uh, from the red liners. Okay, can I open it, please, Julian? Yep. Oh, I should show the back too. Well, maybe I'm giving some of that away by showing the back, <laughs> well, but I now think you don't we're need to open it. yeah. Who cares? Are we done? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I'll try and open this up, and then maybe we'll do some. Uh, we'll get close up. So clearly, we have a, what is called a box set, yes. right? Those of us that uh, were music collectors. Can I just pull these out? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so move that. So tell me about, uh, maybe Jimmy, you can tell me about why you guys decided to do this and kind of how it's going to be available, and then we'll go through it. Yeah, so, I mean, I just like to torment packaging. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> so I just, uh, you know, we were like one day, hey, let's just give Julian more work. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that's what we did. Okay. Um, true story. <laughs> But pretty much, um, with this, the set's going to be only available on HotWheelsCollector.com. Um, okay. You don't have to be an RLC member to get it. Which um, is the Redline Club. Yes, the Redline Club. Which you requires membership, like, from a which, while ago. Yeah, which yeah. has been sold out for um, over, an, uh, over a year now. Okay. Um, but anybody can go on buying it. Um, I will say the RLC members will get a priority window to purchase it first. Okay. Um, and then if any quantities remain... Anybody can pretty much okay. go on our site and buy okay. it. Okay. Um, but yeah, this is a very cool set, and I'll kind of have Julian walk you through um, each car. Okay, so we'll walk through the, the models. Packaging. But that's kind of, it's just, a, it's kind of an homage as we do this. We'll see that there's one from every assortment that was released yeah. in 2017, exactly. like an additional sixth car for each Exactly, and that, that was the total thing, you know. So, you know, each each mix, there, there's five mixes in 2017, and there's five cars in each mix. 
Okay. Um, and this is like, okay, well, you know, if we had an option to put a six car, this one would be... These are the ones that just... Uh, exactly. Just missed the... So if you collect the all the car culture, you do not have a complete collection until you buy this <laughs> bundle because <laughs> these are all card number zero of five you're all playing to our collecting you know <laughs> uh those those notes but okay it, but it fits like each car fits perfectly into it and i mean just check them out i get it yeah. well yeah let's do this okay so we'll move up just a little closer here i'm going to try and go in order from the the way the assortments were released so we start and julian i'll let you uh get yeah. in with the red liners so we start with red liners and uh, this whole thing was an interesting project because it was I had to go back and revisit everything I had done previously and try and recreate the exact packaging with new cars, which was a logistical nightmare. I'm going to say dream, I'm gonna <laughs> say positive. <laughs> and uh, so, but it was a fun challenge and it worked out great. So of course with red liners, we had the drag racing cars out the strip, you know, doing the burnout, smoky burnout. Um, got the same thing here. Butterflies are open. This car's ready to go. Uh, this one is a, um, Mercury Comet Cyclone Gasser, yeah. which we haven't done too many times. We haven't seen this one in a while. Yeah. yeah. Last time was like Cool Classics, I think. I think it was. Yeah. And we saw it in the RLC, and we might have seen it in like one of the maybe Garage series. It's been a long yeah, time. A long. It is so cool to see this back, especially, you know, Gassers are, gassers are hot. Mm -hmm. And so it's really nice. I love the, um, well, I guess we'll get it when we do the close-ups of the models, but that looks really good. So, yeah, it is amazing that you did duplicate Duplicate that. All right, the next one was air cooled, right? Air cooled. And so I remember it was a lot of VWs and Porsches. A lot and a of Fiat. VWs, Porsches, a Fiat. Uh, again, just duplicating the the look of the original air, air cooled line. Uh, this car is really cool looking. The moon eyes. Yeah. I think it's so I was trying to look at the angle of the. You've got it so straight on that I was trying to bend it so I could get a, <laughs> a better look at the eyes and the image didn't change. Yeah, it doesn't work. <laughs> and if you, you turn know. it around, you won't be able to see the back of the car either. But you know, I could try and enlarge <laughs> it, but see, that doesn't work either, so like <laughs> on my phone. Um, I love the moon eyes. I guess, we'll, again, we'll look at it once we look at the model. And then, yeah, if you, you sit it on the back here, you can see uh, there are the models right there. So, love that. Okay, what was next? It was race day. day. Okay, I, I have a feeling this one will be a very, very popular model. Yeah, I think you're right. This is a cool car. Uh, coming, doing the packaging on this one was a challenge again because we had to figure out where to put this car in the race. And that's and I wanted to mention that because one of the great things about this particular was that it was a specific, almost like a like one position of a race, and you got it was a five car race, and you got images from every car, yep. right? Yep. And I, I don't have the artwork with me right now because it would be cool to go back and look. But if I look there in the background, I'll try and keep the. Keep it in the lighting. I see some, is that the Porsche in the background yeah. or something like that? The yeah. Magnus Porsche. So if we go back to like the race day card art and, pe and viewers can go do that, you'd see that that's back there, right? Yep. Like it's the race that, from the original card art. Yep. You'll be able to figure out that this car is actually ahead of all the other cars. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> And yeah. that is just, I it's love the angle. New NSR. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. It's a, it's a souped up Datsun. <laughs> well, you know, yeah. driver. Driver skill. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you go. It's not all based on the uh, engine, right? I guess it's on the skill. Okay, next one is the assortment that's out right now, Modern Classics, or I guess at the time of this filming here at the convention. Um, I have to say, Mustang. I don't think we've seen a Mustang in car culture. Nope. So, welcome. Yes. And you're a Mustang guy, I Julian. am a Mustang guy. So... So it was pretty cool to get this in. Of course, because it's a Mustang, I gave it extra special attention <laughs> <laughs> to, to make sure that it was done properly. I think this illustration came out incredible. It's beautiful. I think it's really nice, yeah. It's the um, 84 Mustang SVO, right? Yep. And then I see, like, this is the same thing. You had a same kind of theme with the, the, the pictures, right, of the... Yeah, car. so I've got, is that the, um, that might be the Honda That's, CRX, right, from the Modern it. Classics? Yeah. Awesome. There might be another one behind there somewhere else, but this is a really nice. I think with the you know the Mercedes and the BMW, this is a really nice addition. Uh, when we show the the car, Jimmy might want to talk about the livery on it. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> and then look, there's that pesky Camaro from Cars and Donuts. Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, when we were talking, we mentioned that there was this. 
in the card art of the uh, of the Cars and Donuts line, there's a pesky Camaro in the background, <laughs> and pesky Camaro it's finally made it to the foreground, <laughs> <laughs> just waiting its turn, just right? Waiting its turn, and then the five other cars from that mix now are lined up behind it. So my feeling is that you probably had a little bit better idea of what was happening when you did the art for this one than yes. you did for maybe Race Day and yeah, and Modern Classics. This one happened at the right time. Awesome. Yeah. That looks really, really cool. All right, let's take a look at the, I mean, car culture is half model, half artwork, at least in my opinion, which is not an opinion I usually have. But um, <laughs> let's take a look at the models then, and I'll bring in my little uh, trusty rotator here. Let's get a little more close up. Okay, so we started with uh, the Redliner the Mercury comics. Gasser, right? Yeah. The Cosmic Cyclone. <laughs> and, you know, Van went all out on uh, the deco. You can kind of, if you look really closely here, it might be kind of hard. Uh, but it says... I'll try and get here. I can get the light. There we go. El Segundo Mercury Dealers. Oh, cool. <laughs> A little shout out to El Segundo, yeah, um, home of Hot Wheels. Exactly, right? that's where Hot Wheels HQ is. Um, so yeah, this is a fun little gasser that we did in a pretty cool uh, purple uh, metallic flake. It's so yeah. it's so cool to see the uh, an, an old gasser casting getting some love. I love the wheels on it. It looks like because this is more. I mean, they're all premium, but mm -hmm. this one seems to be getting a little more deco than the other assortments. Maybe because it's been. At least this one did, right? Yeah, so all of these will have um, our 2018 Deco Index. Okay. So you're going to get the uh, you know the front and the rear head um, details on all the models. The kit and the caboodle. Yes. All right. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Yeah. Okay, awesome. I love the tires there with the, uh, the yeah, Hoosier big, tires. And, and big fatties in the, yeah. in the back. I, I really, like, I haven't, I just, it feels like I haven't seen those wheels before, but I, or at least those rims, but I guess maybe I have. Um, all right, what was the next one? Air cooled. Air cooled. Air cooled. Anything Moon Eyes. My daughter's going to go nuts. I'm going nuts because Moon Eyes is always cool. Yeah. And this is the uh, the VW. We didn't even the, say which one it was. The Fastback. The Fastback, the right? The Fastback. It's cool. Yeah. And you can kind of have those disc wheels to kind of tie with the theme. It's Moon Eyes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. you got to have the moons. Actually, this one opens up. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So, sorry, I'm kind of breaking your turn. No, you're here. okay. No, it's fine. It's, but, uh, uh, it's, it's gone through a lot. And oh, it will reverse. it's going yeah, the other it's, way. It's magic. Oh, so sweet. But if you want to keep going it this way, then we just, we just, you know, we coerce it. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it's a nice, uh, nice casting we haven't used in a while. And, obviously, who doesn't like that Moon Eyes livery? And it's nice to see Moon Eyes come into car culture. Mm -hmm. It's got even on that spoiler there. I'll try mm -hmm. some, some more Moon Eyes stuff. Mm -hmm. um, this might be a good time. Because you have another Moon Eyes car culture model coming, right? In yeah, 2018? 2018. You want to show it? All right. Why not? Because I want you to show it. <laughs> okay. So this is not part of the uh, This is not part of the box set. set, no. What is this part of? This is part of our second mix of 2018, which is called Cargo Carriers. Oh, cool. And so that's a, um, that's a new mix that we're doing, and it has a lot of vans, wagons, and whatnot. Got and it. And obviously we have the T1 Microbus with the Moon Eyes livery, because we like doing squads. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's also got the moon rims on it. Mm-hmm. Looks awesome. Yeah. I love that. So go so with we'll, the moon. Yeah. Go with the moon. Go with moon. <laughs> or actually, go, go with moon. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's awesome. And we'll look forward to seeing the rest of that assortment later, right? Yes, so, definitely. Very cool. And mm -hmm. I think there will be some cool stuff in there. All right. So we got all moon-eyed. Now let's go to race day. And... Yeah, it's a Datsun. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's about time we do this one, right? <laughs> <laughs> we haven't seen a 510 in a long time. But yeah, we, yeah. we've done the red one, uh, both in RLC and vintage racing. Yeah. And, you know, we needed to do the blue one, too. Yeah, so. of course you did. And I love that it's got the four spokes Squad on it. Squad goals, remember. Yes, exactly. <laughs> And this one full full detail, yep. just like the uh, just like the racing and the uh, yeah. and the um, even the hood pins. Oh, look at that! <laughs> look at that! That is awesome. I have a feeling that if people will buy the set for that, that yeah. can happen. There's a few people out there that will do that. I think I do like the I do like the gray barrels on mm. this one mm -hmm. a lot. Yeah. So with the four spokes. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very very cool. I mean, we could. Show Dotsons all day. All right, what are we? Cars and donuts. Modern classics. Modern classics. 
Modern Julian class. said you had something, some information about this beautiful white color. You know, I, I just like I, I like white Mustangs. Uh, people should Google white Mustangs with you know like red trim. Yeah, and you know, it, yeah, and stuff that says like iced out. It's kind of <laughs> that's it's awesome. Kinda, I'll, I'll leave it at that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, I gotcha. Uh, yeah. I gotcha. <laughs> I gotcha. It's a uh, it's a cool little model. Uh, definitely a modern classic. And it's cool to see this era of Mustang, and it's cool to see a Mustang. We yeah. haven't seen a Mustang in the uh, in car culture. Mm -hmm. Have we seen a Camaro before? I'm trying to remember if we have or not. We've seen a muscle car Camaro. Oh yeah, duh. Yeah, of course we have. And then this is the second one. So anyway, welcome Mustang to car culture. May it be a fruitful relationship moving <laughs> forward. How was that? Um, okay. And uh, last but not least, right? Is that last? Yes. That is the last. The Golf Camaro at uh, Cars and Donuts. And who doesn't like golf? <laughs> I do. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, uh, this is the Copo Camaro. Yeah. Uh, with the golf, golf livery. And, you know, this one, I, I love this whole box set like every car in here right. is just kind uh, of a gone all out type of yeah approach to, yeah. to that line this is definitely one of my favorites this is a newly retooled uh die cast chassis uh for the copo yeah copo yeah 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 uh because previously it was in basics and now we have it in our premium lineup it looks awesome yeah it really does look awesome mm -hmm. and it's golf which means what are you supposed to say about it right <laughs> um, but it's cool i mean to think about the iconic You've got Golf, you've got Moon Eyes, and then you've got Brie, which is really interesting because you don't see a ton of that kind of licensed looking car culture. So this is really kind of a, I mean, you see a lot of the cool cars, but like that, the actual licensed, you know, racing mm -hmm. or whatever. I think that's really, really cool. Yeah. So awesome. Well, thanks guys for uh, walking through us. This is a, this is the, I don't know if it'll be the first, second or third of the videos, but you guys were able to sit down here at the convention. We're going to put these videos out over time. Um, thanks for doing this, talking through them. Yep. And, uh, thank you. We got a lot more to come. Thanks guys. Bye.